Hey, it's Matthew Reinhardt. Let's make it pop. Today we're going to make a really cool autumn tree. You know, the, the leaves are changing. Um, summer is over and it's time for the fall. So I thought we'd make a really cool pop-up tree here. And um, what you got to do is you, you'll download the templates. Down below there's a link for those templates. You could just download them and print them out onto regular cardstock or colored cardstock, whatever you got. Once you've printed them out onto um, cardstock, you can then, you're gonna see two types of lines. You're gonna see um, dotted lines and you're gonna see solid lines. The dotted black lines are where you're going to score and that's where there's gonna be fold lines. So you're gonna take a ruler, you're gonna take a paper clip and you're gonna uh, put the uh, ruler along each one of the dotted black lines and you're gonna press down with that big paper clip and that's gonna help the uh, paper that for our pop-up pieces, that's gonna help it know exactly where it's supposed to fold. By the way, these aren't my hands. This is Kirsten. She's giving me a hand here. Well, two hands. <laughs> I say that joke every single video. Anyways, she's giving me a hand here, or two of her hands, and um, she's scoring on all those black dotted lines. Then next up, we uh, wherever there is a solid black line, that's what do we do? We cut there. We use our scissors and we cut out all the pieces. You cut out the base page. You cut out all the different pieces. It's pretty simple. You guys know how to use your scissors, right? Now, if you look that um, Kirsten, she actually moves the paper rather than moving her scissors. And it's a lot easier to cut out all these pieces. So, And if you have a lot of extra paper left over, you know what I do? Um, I save all that extra scrap left over on um, for my craft so I can use it later on for other things. After you finish cutting out all the pieces, now we're going to just pre-fold everything. So let's pre-fold this base page here, just to let the paper know exactly where, which way it's going to go. And what's great with, with this is we can pre-fold it and um, it folds really easy because we scored all those lines. Look at that. So this little piece here, that's going to be the trunk of our tree. It's going to be some of the leaves on one side. I'm just going to fold it in a different way to make sure that it knows where to go. Just like that. We're gonna fold this piece here. Just like that. And we're gonna fold this middle piece. You see it folds out like that. We're gonna fold these little tabs here. One. Now we can start decorating. Well, for this one, you can do a lot of different things. You could um, you could draw, you could uh, color, you could use colored pencils. Um, and if you really wanted to get crazy, you could use just a little bit of paint to use a thumbprint and make all kinds of different autumn leaves. Look at what she's doing there. So she's she's just pressing her thumb into different light, you know, a, a little bit of paint. She's not overdoing um, how much paint she puts on there because we want our pop-up to work right. But she's using a little acrylic paint um, to dip her thumb into and then make all these little thumbprints to make the leaves of the tree. Look at that, because the autumn leaves, it's time for the, the leaves to change from green to different colors. Now remember, you gotta let the paint dry before we put together the rest of the pop-up. And then if you want, you can decorate the, that's the uh, trunk of the tree. So she's a little marker on that. And now let's get to gluing the pieces on. All right, first, these two areas here. We're gonna look at the tabs. They're exactly the same shape as um, the tabs on this piece here. So we're gonna put some glue inside. See how she's just using a very little bit of glue inside each of those gray areas that match the shape of those tabs. And we're gonna line it up this piece and it lines up and you're gonna actually see the center of that piece lines up with the center of the base page just like so nice so we have the main body of the pop-up tree and that's how it moves look at that nice make sure it's nice and flat it has to be built flat next up let's put these leaves and uh, on this side now you're gonna see there's a gray sort of shape that you can still sort of see under our paint there. That goes there and this little tab right here. So we're putting glue in those areas and see that's where that lines up perfectly right there and also right there on the base page. So we put those, glue those tabs on, glue them into place, make sure it's dried and pressed down 
Remember, you're building this and those pieces all go completely flat. And then this piece goes on. Let's see, there is a shape right there that matches. And also, there's a shape on the base page. You can see it, it's sort of a little shape that's just the same. And the reason why I do those little gray shapes is so you know exactly on the base page or on the other pieces where that piece is supposed to go. Now, and all those pieces so far are flat, but this piece for the trunk of the tree is not gonna be flat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue, put glue within this shape right here. There's two different shape, rectangle shapes. Rather, they're trapezoidal shapes. One goes on this side. We're gonna press it down. And then we're gonna fold it over and it's gonna go on the opposite side. And you're gonna make sure that that, that tab on that um, left side, that that does not go over our center fold line. It's gotta fit just in place and it should be exactly like that. We're gonna press it down and it's gonna glue. And look at that, we've got the trunk of our tree and all those beautiful leaves. Look, we even decorated the base page a little bit more with some paint. This is how it's supposed to work. Look at how that folds. That's actually two V folds. Or actually it's three V fold. Oh, actually it's four V folds. It has one V fold that's actually a tented V fold that makes the, the um, trunk of the tree. Look at that. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I can't believe it's fall already. Oh my gosh, the leaves are falling. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Our very own pop-up tree. I guess you could even use this, this pop-up tree. This could be, a spring tree too, and you can make it green. But for right now, the seasons are changing. Because it's almost autumn. Or, as I like to say, fall, right? So let's decorate it. And we can even write a message inside if you want. Oh, isn't that sweet? Look at that. Awesome. You can even put characters or do whatever you want. You can decorate this however you like. This is your pop-up creation. I hope you've enjoyed making this pop-up autumn tree. Um, this is Matthew Reinhardt, and I've so enjoyed being able to create this with you. Um, hey, if you like what you, you see here, be sure to hit like and subscribe. And um, if you want to see more DIY crafts, more art classes, more whatever I do, um, hit the uh, little bell button down below, and um, you'll get notified every time that I have a new video. We have a lot of them anymore. All right, see you next time, everyone. Bye-bye.